New York, a city where people pride themselves on having fine restaurants and courageous palates. But once a year, the Big Apple hosts a unique dinner that even New Yorkers might find shocking. It's the annual gala of the Explorers Club at the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. The highlight of the evening is the cocktail hour, where the finger food might have legs, a face, or a tongue. The cuisine could be too extreme when the Waldorf kitchen staff is cooking up a little grub. They're more used to cooking leg of lamb than tarantula, but exotic chef Jean Rurka has some new recipes in mind. Let me show you what we have today. Now, some surprises. Mmm, that's yummy. I'll oh tell God. you, huh? Oh. You can make like a little pretzel. Oh mm. my God. A little... The chefs may welcome the challenge of transforming creatures into cuisine, but that doesn't mean they're excited about handling the goods. Be careful. Oh, oh my God. This one, no, no, no. These are the Madagascar cockroaches. They don't, they're not going to bite you. Very tasty. What type of roaches are I? Yeah. <laughs> Cockroaches are just one of many outlandish ingredients Jean brings into the kitchen. The eyeballs are soft. Oh boy. We'll poach some of these, we'll slice some up, we'll stuff some. Well, I have testicles coming too. Great, great. Just watch the teeth though. They are sharp. The frenzy of transforming roaches, rodents, and reptiles into culinary art begins. If you present it properly, it looks appetizing. It's no longer that creature that everyone wants to step on and run away from. But how do you make something with an exoskeleton look, not to mention taste, exquisite? First of all, you need to make sure that when they hit your tongue, they're dead. Just make sure you have the oil at 165 degrees. So once you put it in, bam, you're gonna cook. You don't want these bad boys alive in your stomach. Even the tarantulas have their own special recipe. So what we're going to do is put these in this brandy we have. And once we soak them in here for about 20 minutes or so, we'll take them out. We're then going to skewer them. We're take a piece home. We're going to put them in a deep fryer. And uh, what you're going to wind up having is something like this. The displays have been crafted into perfect edible masterpieces. Or sushi with crickets? Mealworms, puff pastry. Eyeballs. Very nice, Eyeballs. very nice. It's showtime. Good evening, welcome to World of Astoria. Jean anxiously awaits the guests' reactions. Oh my goodness. <laughs> These explorers are getting face to face with their food. And swallowing their fear. From Madagascar, let me see. Oh, outstanding. Cow's eyeball is very good. You uh, see the facial changes. And they go to put this in their mouths. Like, um, very unique description on their faces. I don't know how I would describe it. The wow might be a good word. Maybe a little shocking. Grimace, might be a good word. The alligator claws, succulent. Are they still moving? <laughs> the theme of the evening may be adventure, but some are more thrill-seeking than others. I don't like spiders dead. I know I'm not going to eat them battered and fried, that's for sure. They're just like the zoo, but they're dead. Despite a few timid diners, Jean's delicacies are a big hit. The eyeballs are all gone. Testicles are all gone. Insects, I think, were the biggest surprise. Oh! People were running to the tables for the tarantulas and the scorpions. It's good. It's the whole idea is just to bring smiles to people's faces, and we've done it tonight. So I think it's been a great success. <laughs>